I'll show you a bonding machine alignment. How to align this piston? And uh, this is 580 model, BD 580 single head machine, and it has two screens with the four pressure control systems. Uh, one is total pressure. Second one is up pressure and this one is down pressure and this is manual pressure. And uh, here we given a backlight also for uh, check your panel after bonding. You can check your panel over here uh, with this uh, 12 volt connection. This is 12 volt. And uh, now I show you uh, how to align this crystal. This is the first step to alignment to this machine. So we can align crystal along with this uh, panel. So first we check our crystal height. First we check with uh, this crystal height. Uh, see this is uh, down our crystal is down so we can uh, first we can uh, set this crystal so lose this screw and then uh, tight this equally this four small screw you can tie equally And then uh, see the balance. Balance need to be equal. So right now this will shake. So little bit remain. Now it's fixed. Not shaking. No movement. Okay. Give pressure and check here, here, and like this okay when it will stable then you check again the high now it's need more high so we can set again lose this screws and again tight equally And again check your balance now this is uh, not stable okay I can check now it's stable now again we check need more height so I'll type again When you tighten these screws, it will go high. And when you lose it, it will go down. Now, see, this side is our glass is moving. See. When I press this, it goes down a little bit and when we press here, it's stable, not moving. It means this side, we need to set it up a little bit so I can set a little bit tight these two screws. And I check again. Okay, uh, we need our panel. When our panel come on crystal, 
panel need to be striked with crystal. See, now my panel is striked on crystal. See. We need to adjust this crystal uh, this much of height when we set our panel on crystal that time it will be strike on crystal see ok and now I will check this if it will if this panel will not moving down it means it and you check everywhere or uh, left corner right corner this is the panel and I check left side and right side both side also now our crystal is properly aligned with uh, this base then now what you need to do after setting up your crystal press manual alignment and set your cutter in middle of crystal see in the screen this is our cutter this is our cutter and uh, this is crystal yeah this is crystal and point ok now this is crystal our crystal see this area we can see this side we can see on screen back side of the crystal this this area we can see okay see see my finger this is the end point okay so when you set your crystal after that you need to uh, set your cutter ok you need to align your cutter so uh, we can set our cutter on middle of the crystal see this is our crystal surface this is surface and here we can set uh, our cutter and middle point right now I set on middle so um, Now, uh, after set this uh, cutter in middle of crystal, so we can, this is a Teflon tape, we can check balance first. Now in manual alignment we can press manual alignment this this manual alignment button so we can press manual alignment in manual alignment we can check our cutter balance it will be straighter or uh, bend so here you can see uh, here having a pressure not pull see and it will easily come out see so it means uh, left side having a more pressure than the right side so we need to balance equally so how do we do uh, we need to type here is pressure 
this side having a pressure so we need to tighten this uh, middle screw i tighten this screw and check again now see here having a pressure and this will loose it means we need to tighten this side also i tight this again and then again i check here is loose so i tight more we need to tight fully tight this so check again no so what we need to do have you see here is having a more pressure and here uh, this screw will be fully tight so what we need to do we need to tight this small one equally don't left to lose this screws 1 2 3 4 okay if it will lose so your uh, alignment is was not successfully perfect it will be automatically disaligned if it will lose this all four screw if lose so after bonding uh, your uh, cutter is disaligned again so that's why we need to tighten this four screws also now now pressure is equal yeah now pressure is equal so what we need to do now i lose it again and now i'm going to finally setting now i lose this alignment and now we set see here on the screen when you set your pistol see on the screen one finger gap we need one finger gap in between cutter and pistol border this is pistol border so we need one finger gap so we can set like this Hold the pistol and hold your head and set the gap. See. This is the gap, okay. And uh, when you set your pistol, need to set this camera corner, okay, and on end position. 
when we do alignment we need to have this camera on and position yeah. okay so when we set this gap see one finger gap has now press manual warning okay and then press alignment see it has pressure now down pressure now you you try your pistol like this first you try it with your hand and then one step second step now step by step you try it your pistol step by step Now try to tight, try to fully tight this screws. Don't lose this screw. Okay. Now you can check on the screen. Now we need this much of gap in between cutter and pistol border. Now I align our cutter and uh, pistol. Now we need to check with uh, uh, alignment sheet. Now I said uh, align this pistol and uh, cutter. Now final alignment for final alignment we can check with uh, this alignment sheet. With this alignment sheet we can check this alignment sheet. Now automatic set automatic and press. Now, this is final bonding process. Now, uh, see this alignment paper. This is upper layer, and now see here pressure is not good. Uh, see this one here having a pressure, but this side not. So we can align again. We need and we check with uh, this side uh, in uh, alignment sheet. Uh, we know this uh, here is less pressure. So we can check with uh, uh, this Teflon tape also.
here is the pressure and there is loose okay it means we need to align again now this is final alignment actually so we need to tighten this if suppose it will be fully tight so you can lose this little bit loose okay and check again when you lose this screw so you need to tie equally both of this small screw okay now i think pressure is equal now and check again with the alignment sheet our pressure is equal again set on automatic and do final bonding now again we check right now both side is equal yes see uh, corner sides is coming equally and now in this final match yes here we get full line this is our old line here we didn't get this side pressure but this one is having both side equal pressure it means bonding uh, alignment will be perfect now now after that you can check with uh, bonding now you are ready to do bonding 